Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, more Spider-Man. So where we dropped off last time, we were going up against like normal civilians at a Halloween party. And now we're just about to go check Osborne to see what he has to say about this whole Devil Breath thing. If you're liking these videos, thank you so much for watching. I know this game is a little bit older by, right now, but it's my first time playing it and I'm loving it. And I hope you guys are enjoying the series also. And if you are, drop a like, subscribe, thank you again. And without any further ado, let's do this. Should get to Oscorp and see if I can find anything on Michaels. All right. So last time we left off, we now just about to go check on Norman Osborn to see what he has to say about like this whole Doctor Michaels and Devil's Breath thing. Let's check if we got any skills. All right, we got one skill available to us. We can do. Hmm. When health, when below half health, attacks generate more focus. I'm always below half health, so that's going to be great. Press square, then triangle to hold and throw an enemy in any direction. Okay, I might actually do this. Alright, move lists. What do we have? Oh, characters. I didn't even know we had this. We got Peter Park. He's 23 years old. How is he so young? Alright. Mary Jane Watson. Also 23 years old. Okay. Fisk. 48. He's a little bit of an old guy. Then we got Yuri. She's 38. Dr. Otto Octavius. He is an old pensioner right about now. <laughs> oh, shame. Jefferson Davis. Poor guy passed away. That's, I was also really sad about him. Herman Schultz, Shocker, 42. Norman Osborn. Wait, wasn't Osborn and Otto in the same university at the same time? But they, the age gap is so different. Huh. Who would have known? Then you got Martin Lee at 40. I'd laugh if, like, this guy, Mr. Negative, was actually a different age than Martin Lee. That would have been really funny. Occupation, terrorist. <laughs> That's pretty accurate. Then we got uh, Lonnie Lincoln, Tombstone. I am not looking forward to going up against this guy because just how strong he was. Like, he took a bullet to the face. And then you got. I'm just going to call the Silver Sable because I cannot try say Sablanova very well. <laughs> try saying that 10 times fast. Then you got Rio Morales and Miles Morales. Fifteen! Huh. I didn't know they were so young. Move lists. Okay, disarm enemy and whip throw. Alright. Now let's get back to this mission. More crime. Wait, that looks like a little bit of a heavy one. Gonna have to let you go. Also, I'm not really loving this suit all that much. Like, I understand the rock out thing is pretty cool, but I don't know. Like, just the aesthetic of the suit is not really suiting me that much. But also, backpack! Attention units. A truck carrying an armed explosive is evading pursuit. Incident is active near Times Square. Proceed with caution. Why can't I see this backpack? Oh, because I ran right past it. It's hidden in the bush. Knuckle Duster. Why would Spider Man need this? Alright, we are right here by Osborne. Can I do this landmark while it's on the way? Oh, that was a good shot. All 
All right, before we do this, I'm sorry, but I just cannot. <laughs> this skin is not working for me. All right, suits. Also, we got a new suit. Fear itself. Hmm. This does look cool, I guess. I'm just gonna go back to the little old stock suit. I was actually really considering using this suit right here, the webbed suit, like to look a little bit more, I don't know, nostalgic, I guess. That's a good way to put it. But uh, we'll just run around with the stock suit for now. I love the way the suit looks also. It's possibly maybe my favorite suit. But uh, let's get this mission started. This is Stable Control, requesting a status update from Midtown North. Okay, that's how I can get into Norman's office. Can't get in there without shutting down some security systems. But if they see me, they'll put the whole place on lockdown. Should have used the cell suit. I should be able to hack into the security network modules from the outside. There are the network cables. Just need to follow them to the security module. Oh, wait, I need to change to my shocking web. There we go, a security module. Guess I don't need to Looks change like my shockings around the building. That should make things easier. What the hell? Security teams call in. Sable Team Alpha standing by. Looks like an electrical problem. Copy that. Keep an eye on the exterior while we try to track down the issue. Just when I thought it would be easy. All stable teams. Looks like we have some sort of software problem. We're calling in a specialist. Copy that. Continuing exterior sweep. What? All agents. Someone's taking control of one of our subsystems. Initiating Delta Protocol. Man, everybody's got drones these days. Oh my god, this is stable gonna be looking a little bit more difficult than I expected. Exterior sweep negative. We are all clear. Still look like a software issue? We don't know. We're evaluating. Please maintain current alert levels. Whoa! Attention all stable teams. Yes! There's a small possibility we have a trespasser on site. We're analyzing data now. Stay vigilant. Come on, I'm right here. I am right here. Damn it. Another subsystem is going offline. I am holding R1. Why can I not hack it? Yo. I need a team to scan the 85th floor exterior. If that Stop helicopter starts scanning this thing, I'm gonna be done. Guys, come on. Gotta move. Hi, MJ. A little busy right now. I'll be quick. Listen, I got a lead on Charles Standish's location. I think if I can get to him, I can make him talk. He knew about Dr. Delaney. He probably knows about Morgan Michaels as well. Okay, just don't do anything crazy. Now I can get into Norman's office and hopefully find out more about Morgan Michaels and Devil's Breath. Exterior sweep negative. Should we go on lockdown? Not yet. Mr. Osborne is in the middle of an important call, but keep tracking. There must be someone out there. I I know I could just up the brightness, but oh, this game is so dark when you're going to vents. If you try to expose our business arrangement. It'll be your word against mine, and I'm not the one behind bars right now. Wait, is Norman talking to Wilson Fisk? Neo statue. What are you talking about? The Neo statue from the auction house. They must be talking about that file MJ found. Jackpot. GR27. Hmm. Dr. Morgan Michaels is the chief scientist, but the location of the lab is redacted. 
AI controlled CRISPR. If that actually works, it could cure any genetic disease. Cystic fibrosis, Huntington's. This is crazy. Seven days, forty rats have died. Jeez, that's pretty gross. Wow, GR twenty seven is devil's breath. It's designed to cure diseases, but in its current form, it's like a bioweapon. Doctor Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. That's why Lee wants him. We find Michaels. We find Devil's Breath. MJ, get this. Devil's Breath wasn't designed to be a weapon. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. But its current form is wildly imperfect. In trying to fix the body, it rips it apart. We need to locate Dr. Michaels. I don't trust Sable to contain something this deadly. I may have a lead on that. Charles Standish is being held at Sable's Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michaels' location, it'll be Oscorp CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Sneaking into a Sable compound. That could go bad fast. I should head to Central Park. Alright guys, I'm gonna call it off here. This was a really, really short video and really quick. But... What we learned was that this Devil Breath is a cure for genetic di diseases. And... It's kind of used like a bioweapon right now, which is crazy because I don't know about you, but isn't a coronavirus something huh, like, like a bioweapon? How fast I've it's spreading and aff affecting people? About <laughs> the mind. Take me for example, a mind of unlimited potential shackled to a tired old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. Hope he's not too excited. Alright, so without anything else, hopefully they don't interrupt me again. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a really quick and short video. I might actually just do two or three side challenges just to upgrade my gadgets and suits. And then when we get back, we're going to start the missions where we're going to head over to Central Park. If you like this video, drop a like, subscribe, like always. And thank you so much for watching again. All the views are just phenomenal. I didn't expect to have so many views in such a short period of time. And it really means a lot to me, guys. So thank you very much. And like always, stay awesome. Hello.